Not a lot of people know about Rockberry. We don't have any major sponsors. We don't pander to the mainstream art world like those other artist colonies in New Hampshire. But I assure you, we're just as hip, just as cutting edge, just as sophisticated, and just as rural, if not more so. Today's society is so frantic, it's hard for an artist to hear his own voice because there are so many other voices competing for his attention. <laughs> is that, is that, that, that my voice, that thing I'm, I'm hearing, or is that the MP3 machine playing in my skull? It, the artist has to say, stop, you know, stop all the madness. I can't hear my, my soul, I can't hear my dreams speaking to me. Rockberry is a place for that quiet, a place for an artist to hear that inspiration arriving, no matter how small, weak, or petty it may be. Rockberry is a place where we can go back so as to move forward, like a spring. <laughs> boing, boing, boing. People are surprised when they get here to find people doing such sophisticated things and in the middle of nowhere. You go beyond that security fence and there's nothing for miles. Absolutely nothing. Just some hicks. And us. I'm a ceramicist myself, so I tend to think of life in terms of containers. The government is the container for the ideals of the people. People are containers for their organs. But what is the container for art. What keeps art from spilling out onto the floor, getting stepped on, making a mess? Art is not hard. It does not have a hard shell like a crab. Art is like rain. And Rockberry is here to collect it. Rockberry is the place where I feel safe where I can do my important work without fear or reproach from critics or the ignorant. It wasn't even like a womb-like space, it was like, um, it was like an amniotic sac. Um, you know, it was, it was that protected, that enclosed. The day I arrived at Rockberry, it's as if my whole life before Rockberry had been gray and somebody suddenly just flicked on a switch and everything was in color. Rockberry, for me, was like a religious experience. You know, like I was God. Being at this place, you know, surrounded by trees and um, and other people who who feel things, um, I learned to feel again. At Rockberry, I can do my work without worrying whether it's original or not. Hi, Mrs. Pipkin. Keep up the good work. I think of this as a refuge for endangered species. Artists. And that is why we need a bigger fence. <laughs>